Now this is Pingy Green, the most beautifully renovated HGB apartment for 2021 that we have seen in Property Link Brothers. And then slowly do your dishes. The home that has been featured on a lot of magazines and articles as well as our house collective. If you have not seen that, these are all the small little details that you get to see. Wow. Three room apartment, so let's go. Wish and don't forget to count the candles. Now we celebrate with cheer. Alright, so this is the unit that we have been wanting to show you and uh, the very first look of it is that you get such a nice entrance. Now, this door has been treated with more woody, rustic look. It is the original door from HDB. It just looks so different. The owners have installed a digital lock right here, so it looks really modern. Let's head in and I think you're definitely in for a treat. So I know you must be very excited to have a look at the type of renovation that's being pumped into this three-room apartment but before we head on to have a look in detail on the renovation I have to share with you a little bit about the brief facts of these places. Pingy Greens is one of the newest MOP cluster in the entire Bedok and Chai Chi region and this is in the entire District 16 right here if you're talking about the HDB estates. Those that are highlighted in orange colour, these are all HDB apartments that were built in the era of 1980s. Averagely, they are all about 62 years lease balance. The green colour zonings are the ones that has been built in the era of 1990s to the early 2000s. And if you look at the blue colour zonings, these are the newer clusters that you can aim for. However, for the four clusters that are available, only two of them has reached its MOP. For Pingy Greens right here, we have six blocks, predominantly 807 ABC plus 808 ABC. We are located 10 minutes walks towards uh, Bedok Mall. That's where the MRT station is being located. That's also where the interchange is being located that will bring you to Kembangan followed by Pa Leba and that's where the business hub is right now within the D14 zone. If you know backwards towards Tanamara, of course uh, that's also where Changi Business Park is predominantly located and these two commercial nodes serve a lot of commercial activities right here in the east portion. That is why in the east part of Singapore there has been so much uptake. And later on we'll head on to three very simple steps on some of the numbers and uh, why we think these three steps will definitely help you to make sense of some of the numbers and analysis especially if you're contemplating between the BTO versus a newly MOP resale apartment and of course we want to help you to make sense of whether do you need to renovate yourself uh, buying an older apartment versus something that is already done up. Let me just bring out the floor plan as well as the site plan of the entire Pingy Greens. We are located in 807C. Now, if you were to follow me right here to this view, you will enjoy from your entire living room together with both your bedrooms. This apartment, in terms of its size, is 68 square meters. Something about the newer HDBs is also that these are all condo design features in terms of the layout planning. The older three-room flats usually will have their living room and one of the bedrooms facing towards the common walkway corridor. The newer ones like this one, you have all your windows that is facing towards the same view as the living room. Now, the reason why our sellers chose this particular stack is because they want to enjoy the unblocked view that you see here. And we are at the second highest level. In Bedok, most of the older HGB that were constructed in the 1980s, they have a height ratio of about 11 to 12 levels. So being on 14th floor, you already clear off most of the flats that is right opposite you. You get a pretty nice unblocked view towards the Bedok North region. For the entire Pingy Greens, six blocks, they are being served by multi-storey car park. And something that a lot of people love about the newer HGB design and architecture is that they are all covered walkways, you don't have to bring umbrellas when you park your car. Something about HGB is that the construction period is not included in your lease. So you get a fresh 99 years lease as a first owner. Five years later, even you as a second owner, you get to enjoy the balance 94 years lease, which is a long way to go. When uh, our clients bought this place, they hack off the main wall that is having the enclosed kitchen kind of concept because they really wanted to have a very open feel for entertainment. The very first thing you will see is that you have this very nicely done combination of a dining space and it also acts like a mini 
mini island that is connecting to the kitchen areas. These are all the small little details that you get to see. Wow. Additional condiments right below. So a lot of small little top processes has been put into the design for the dining countertop. These are all compact plus material. Two door fridge space. Um, they have placed in their Samsung fridge right here. Every ounce of space right at the top are being used as top uh, cabinetry. So you can put in a lot of things. Now you have a steam oven. So all the fittings and fixtures will be left for the new owner. The conventional oven is right here. So these are all designed to be chest height. So it's very easy for you to utilize them without bending down. Pullouts are also more expensive in nature. These are all soft closure right here. You have a hood and hop, uh, which are Bosch system, open flame. This is a very good place for you to store your condiments. Uh, very useful for cooking. Bottom area, all your pots and pans. So these are all nicely planned and designed. A lot more space right here as well. Area that is dedicated to the dishwasher that is located right beside the sink. So sink, nice design by Blanco. This is in sync with the color theme of the entire place. So if you notice, the theme of the house is in the more modern, uh, sensual kind of feel. It's meant to be cozy and contemporary. Now, the colors wise are two primary colors uh, in terms of an old world blue tone, as well as a very unique kind of dark tone finishing on the walls. It's a little bit more like like a condo than a HDB apartment. You even have an AC right in the, the kitchen. You know, most of the time when we visit yard areas, it's usually a place that you only just want to step in when you do a laundry. But this yard makes you feel like staying here a little bit longer. So uh, you can't even sit down here and then slowly do your dishes. Uh, sorry, and then slowly do your laundry. Washer can dry is stacked on top of each other. I think a very nice design in terms of some of the greeneries right here, as well as this is to hide your Ariston heater systems. I think the modern HDB flats they have three huge sliding panel. Before we talk more about the renovation, let's move to step number one on the, some of the key numbers that you can look at. The key consideration point that I think in the year 2021 is that you need to look at your current life cycle in terms of where you are at. For example, let's say if you're a young couple that have just started out working for a couple of years, maybe you are planning to get married. Right now you're about 28 years old. You want to get your first property, but the consideration point is that BTOs, you have to try for perhaps one to two years in terms of its balloting. And after you get your balloting slot, right now because of the pandemic situation, construction period are usually ranging between between four to six years for most of the BTO projects. And if you factor that together with your waiting time, that will be a total of about five to seven years before you get keys to your BTO flat. And then if you add on another five years, that'll be then 10 to 12 years before you can put that property right into the market to exit. So 11 years later, if I add back to your age, perhaps you're reaching 40 by that time, it will be probably a slightly longer opportunity cost in case if let's say you have plans to upgrade to a second property then because the Singapore loan tenure is based on the age of 65 less of your current age if you enter into the private property market at age 39 or 40 technically speaking the entry installment would definitely be higher compared to if you were to enter it at age 35 per se so compare that scenario to buying something off the resale market as your first pivot home completion period takes three months so at age 28 after you have lived here for five years fulfilling the five years MOP perhaps you only be about 33 34 years old and then you can make plans you can still go for the 30 years full loan tenor for a private property thereby comparing this to installment level let's say if you were to buy 1.5 or 1.6 million dollar uh, down the road this is the key difference in terms of your money installment compared with a shorter loan tenor if let's say your main plan is to buy a place and then you will live here forever and then you're not planning to sell that i think that's all good and fine my most importantly is what is your planning in terms of an entire property purchase journey now meantime let's have a look at the living room space This is the wall art that our owners have flown in an artist from Thailand to draw this right here. If you are a lover of art pieces, you can keep this. If you want to rechange this, you can actually convert this uh, either by putting in a new wallpaper or can repaint it. Of course, if you want to just place a very simple TV console, you can do here because this home is already future proof for you to do a lot of things. Shoe cabinetry 
right here and then the sitting area with shoe storage at the bottom as well so if you were to come here you'll notice that in terms of floor finishing these are all engineered timber nice and beautiful dark venison blinds in the entire living room as well this is a movable bookshelf AC that is being done in the living room if you have seen this house at House Collective and one of our new series at PLB you should definitely watch that episode also meantime let's head on to the bedroom In case you're wondering, why is this room so huge? So this used to be the common walkway that serves the common bedroom fronting towards the front. So what our owners have done is that they have combined the two bedrooms into one with a center dividing wall that is along this wall line right here that you see. And that's also the place where the two aircons are serving towards the two different zonings. This is fantastic because you are having a combination of your resting zoning right here. You still have a lot of walkable space. You have a main area for you to do work at home with a lot of plugs that is being done at the floor line and beautiful six piece wardrobe space right here the entire theme for the bedroom and the living room is all in one with the same over blue as well as the very beautiful dark tonality on the walls this is the place for the home shelter of course the home shelter position you cannot modify because this is a home shelter and yeah nice storage racks already done this can be left behind for you switches all done nicely so the theme is beautifully done in three tonalities combining the wood flooring with the two-tone at the wall space. Coming back here, entire bedroom is brightly lit because you have two sets of windows from the original two bedrooms. Now it's combined into one. I think in future, even if let's say you want to reinstate back into two bedrooms, that can be done because all you need to do is build back the wall and then cuff out the area right here. Make this entry door, by the way, this entire frame is not the usual aluminum door. These are all steel frame doors, so cost more expensive, definitely better lasting. Very beautiful hotel standard. Now you have an extremely long and huge bathroom. So these two bathrooms into one. If you notice, it's a two-in-one door. So it serves the entryway to the ensuite bathroom. So you come here, you don't have to worry about the water splashing up because this is a very huge standing shower area. Nicely done, water will be maintained right here. So this kind of grooving also, as mentioned, if you've seen some of our videos, the scratch version is harder to construct, it's more expensive. And you have to do a gut renovation in order to achieve this kind of standard. Ventilation fans from KDK. So it absorbs moisture from the bottom right here. And a ventilation fan here as well. And that's why the feeling when you come into the ensuite in the bedroom is very dry because it absorbs all the moisture and kick up the Novita dehumidifier. Uh, they will leave it for the next owner. So this is also to absorb additional moisture in the bathroom and that's very important because after you bathe, you don't have to worry about you know fanning the bathroom and things like that. This will all take care of it itself. And then WC is right at the corner. Beautiful wall tiles, light grayish kind of marble touch. Compact plus top with wood green and a lot of bottom space for you to store. A lot of space at the top for you to put in um, your toiletry. So you can also use this like a dressing table area because it's all done with nice mirrors. You want a little bit more privacy, you can definitely install more frosting film right across the entire glass panel. All right, so that will bring us to step number two. Let me have a look at this director's chair first. Okay, I'm gonna sit here. Wow, this feels good. Oh my goodness. Okay, okay, let me take out my microphone. Ah, oh, I'm sitting on my microphone. Okay, all right. We want to use this depreciation reverse lease formula to calculate whether does five years MOP HDB make sense or perhaps I should go for maybe older HDB apartment right here in the same Bedok region. Right now around Chai Chi is maybe about 350,000. So let's just take a range of maybe about 320,000. Balance lease 62 years. This one at 807C Chai Chi, modern looking. Balance lease is 94 years. Let's just bring them up back to 99 years and see whether it makes sense in terms of numbers. This is an older HGB property, already 37 years old. Based on the current asking price, 320 divided by 62 years. Refresh it back to 99 years, it would then cost about $510,000. Now if I 
I take a 565,000 divided by 94 years balance lease, refresh back to 99 years, it would then cost about 590 odd thousand dollars. But these are just comparatives if you were to refresh back the lease so that you can see does it make sense for you to go for a lower quantum but shorter lease HDB apartment or a higher quantum but having more years to go. And this is like having another 94 years, having 62 years. Key fundamental difference is that when you buy an older HDB apartment, perhaps you have to do in renovation. And let's say for example, you decide to pump it also 100,000 just to revamp the entire place into a modern looking one. Uh, that will then bring you to 610,000. This property right here, even though I refresh it to 99 years, even if it's in 590 plus, there's already $100,000 renovation being pumped into it. So in terms of comparatives, I think what's most important is that do you want to buy something with renovation built in or do you want to buy something and renovate your own using your own funding for $100,000 cash savings or maybe you want to take a renovation loan at an interest rate of 3 to 5%. I'll leave that to you. But the numbers are also very important. So for example, 565,000 for this apartment, 25% down payment. Let's not put stamp duty into it and just take the 25% for both comparison. 25% comprised of 5% cash, 20% CPF. That would then bring you to about 140 odd thousand in terms of down payment. Compared to, let's say you buy an older balance 62 years apartment, 320,000, 25% will be at this range. If you add in about 100K renovation, that then bring you to about 180 odd thousand. In terms of outlay, it's pretty much similar if you're buying something that is not renovated versus something that's renovated. Now, even if I were to put something in between, let's say you buy something that is non-renovated in the same cluster at green let's say you buy a high floor unit at 520,000 the down payment 25% will bring you to this amount if you were to add in a hundred thousand renovation it would then in fact be more than buying something like this one that is already done up you don't have to spend time to renovate you can just move in straight up so I think step two is to really calculate the cash outlay plus CPF outlay and renovation costing or whether do you want to have all pocket renovation costs or you know buy something that is renovated like this to move in straight up another guy looking for the perfect Perfect lover, the kind of love we only seen in another. I wasn't waiting for sunshine and unicorn. I've nothing at in case you're not aware from the year 2020 there has been a lot of significant changes to how the government is helping young families to own their first property so what is the first grant that you're in for is that you're in for a first timer grant you buy something that's four room and below immediately as a first timer you get a 50k right from the government in terms of cpf housing grant the second grant that you can get is that if your parents are living within four kilometers from this place you can get a proximity parents grant and that will go up to 30 thousand so the third one is an enhanced housing grant but that has an income cap ratio you have to earn a combination combined monthly household income of you and your hubby together to be below nine thousand so let's say for example if both of you have a combined income of five thousand dollars then you'll be looking at about forty odd thousand dollars in terms of grant so in combination you have about hundred and twenty odd thousand dollars of grant that is reserved for you and this hundred and twenty odd thousand dollars can help you in terms of the down payment for this property after five years when you sell this place a lot of people have this misconception that hey, do I have to return back this 120,000 of grant to the government when I sell this place? No, you don't have to do that. As long as your next purchase is not a brand new EC, your next purchase is not a brand new BTO, you don't have to pay this thing called the resale levy. And what this means is that when you buy a resale property, the moment you buy this hundred odd thousand dollars of grant, I mean, disclaimer, because you have to fulfill the following conditions of uh, income for enhanced housing grant and all that kind of stuff. But uh, let's assume you, can, you qualify for about hundred odd thousand dollars of grant. Th what this means is that even if this property were to maintain its value, let's say at 565,000, five years later, you sell back at the same price that you purchased. Technically speaking, the hundred and twenty odd thousand is a given to help you to buffer and cushion for this period. Technically, when you exit the market you will see that increment in your cpf account in terms of the ordinary account that you can utilize for your next place i think that's a fantastic help that the government is giving for first time buyers this is a great subsidy and this in comparison with bto is already a very good buffer because i think one of the the key objectives of that government have is that they also want to ensure that there's a nice balance in terms of demand for btos with resale flat therein why resale hdb apartments have a higher level of grant than bto because bto has, is already subsidized in nature so what this means for you is that 
if you're buying something with a resale property, there's a lot of benefits uh, involved and uh, provided you qualify for household income and things like that, which more information can be found on the HDB website. If you want to have a look at this beautiful apartment, give a call to our listing manager. The number is right down below. All the information are also in the Langlin page. And uh, once again, my name is Melvin Lim, Property Lim Brothers. As always, happy to show the place. Take care. <laughs> 這個的背光會高嗎?我看你好像瘦了。嗯,如果你在這邊會太遠嗎?要抓回剛才那個第一個angle,你要站在哪裡?啊。OK,來,開始。A lot of work <笑>